Hmm, I think this station's out of Midland, Odessa, but we are talking about KRKE Albuquerque moves to classic hits. 101.3 has become sunny. Now focusing on hits of the 80s and 90s uh, with a slight arrhythmic lean. The move follows the rebranding of the station from Cindy 1013, which, yes, I know this came out September 1st, 2020, but I didn't know they already did drop the Cindy brand earlier this year. The move takes uh, the station out of direct format competition with Clear Channel's Soft AC 100.9 The Breeze, K265CA. Remember, everyone, translators are not real stations. They're ghost signals. Uh, and Cumulus's AC Magic 99.5 KMGA, which isn't really what I consider an AC anymore. It would be an AC back in the 80s and 90s, back when everything was 70s, 80s, and 90s. Now AC is just barely just, I think, rejected auto-tune or pop songs mixed in with a few 1980s new wave or classic hits like Bon Jovi or something, so yeah, I'm not exactly adult contemporary anymore. <laughs> okay, 99.5 KMGA to put it more directly against American General Media, classic hits, Big 98.5 KABG, and Aloha Station Trust, 80s, and it's 104.7 KABQ. I like KABQ 104.7. You've seen my band scans on Hobby Pans EXC, hopefully, uh, my, when I went to Albuquerque. It's a pretty good market. Yes, yeah, Cindy 1013 was very interesting. They did have some R&B songs, but they mainly did stick with tra the traditional, real adult contemporary music, which is soft rock. Let's talk. <laughs> I miss you, Real Magic 95.5, and I miss you, Sunny 99.1. I'm so sorry that you're forced to endure some of that stuff that's on KRV or 967K Chippewa in Austin. KRV's in Houston. 104.1 KRV. 10 million people can't be wrong. <laughs> yeah. In any case, good luck, Sunny 101.3. Once again, all the thumbnails of every radio news. Will will be will have its new logo in the thumbnail, so you get to see it, other than just seeing my face. Although I am handsome, but for here for radio, not just to look at my face. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Have a nice evening.